Hello, this is Math Models on topic 2-1. We're just going to review the measures of central tendency. So, our example one, we're going to use this set of data given right here to find the mean, median, mode, and range. Well, the first thing we're going to find is we're going to find the mean. This is the average. So what I need to do is I need to find the sum of the data, that means add them all up, and then divide by the number of observations or how many numbers we have. Okay. So when I add all these up, okay, what I get is 10, 82. So now I have 1,082, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 possibilities. So that when I divide that by 13, it gives me roughly uh, 83.2. As you can see, I have them in the calculator. So that's our mean. Well, now we're going to look at the middle of our data set. And to find the middle, I just realized that looks like it says tall. What I really need to say at all. All right, middle of our data, this is the median. All right, so the median is the middle. First, we're going to put them in order, uh, smallest to largest, but if you prefer largest to smallest, it will still work. So let's go ahead and do that. If I look at my list, I have uh, 163, and then another 63, and then a 77. Oh, I almost forgot my 69. So erase the 77. Put the 69 in there, then the 77. Uh, no more 70s. Look for an 80. We've got 81. Then 85. I've got two of those. Then I've got an 89, then a 90, and then one, two, three 93s, and then last and greatest is 101. Now that we've done that, we need to figure out where the middle is. And so, uh, one, one. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, and seven. And so now I found my middle number. My middle number is eighty-five. Now, if you have an odd number like I did, uh, it's just going to be the very middle number. But if you have an even number, then what you need to do is you need to find the average of the two central data pieces. So if this were, say, on 85 and 89, I would need to find out what's in the middle, which would be 87. So that's our median. And now our mode is the number that shows up the most often. And so we look at it, and I have three 93s. So 93 is my mode. Now, there may be more than one mode. Okay, for instance, I could have, uh, if I only had two 93s instead of three, then it would be 93, 85, and 63 because all those show up the most. However, you might have no mode, and that is that uh, you have so many that have the same number that show up that you really don't have a most often. And now our last uh, 
a measure of central tendency called the range <coughs> does not actually measure central tendency. All it does is tell us the difference between the smallest and the largest. Well, my largest is 101. My smallest is 63. And so when I subtract those, I get 38. And so that is our range. So mean is average, median is middle, mode is most, and range is the difference. Let's go ahead and turn to the next page. So Donald has some test scores. Uh, he's got a 65. A 78, an 85, and a 65. And we want to know what we have to score on some other test, which I'm going to call X, <coughs> so that my average, which means I'm adding all these up, and then dividing by how many there are, needs to be at least a 75. That means that our average needs to be greater than or equal to 75. Well, I'm going to go ahead and add up what I can on the top. That gives me 293 plus x over 5 greater than or equal to 75. Multiply both sides by 5 to get rid of that denominator. And now we have that 293 plus x must be greater than or equal to 375. So if I subtract 293, I get that x must be greater than or equal to 82. So we need to score at least an 82. And so this is how we can use average to uh, find out what we need to score. might even help you in class to figure out uh, just how much you need to score on your test so that you can get your 75 or 80 or uh, 90 that you're shooting for. Let's go ahead and take a look at example number three. Here we're going to start using our calculator. And so they give us a table of information and we want to find the mean, median, mode, and range. Well, our calculator can actually do all of this for us. And so we simply follow the instructions here. We need to go to Stat and then Edit. So I come over here, I press the Stat button. And you'll notice the very first thing that shows up is Edit. And so I hit Enter. And I have actually already typed my list in. I have taken all of these numbers here and put them into L1. All right? All of these numbers go down into L1. I've already done that on my calculator. If we look at the next page, we can sort our data. So now that I'm here, I want to sort it. So I'm going to go back to stat. And if you say, see where it says sort A? I'm going to hit sort A. And now I need to put in L1. Well, L1 is in blue right here over the number 1. To get to that, I'm going to hit the second key. And then 1. And now my window says stat A, L1, just like it says on this picture right here. I'm going to go ahead and close that up and hit enter. And all it does is tell me done. Well, let's take a look at what it's done. I go ahead and go back to stat, go back into edit, and I'll notice that all of my numbers are now in order. So I'm going to quit to get out of there. And now we've got one more thing to calculate our central tendencies. We're going to go back to stat. We're going to go over to calculate 
and then hit our one variable stats. So let me show you. We're going to go back to stat. We're going to go over to calculate. And our very first option is one variable stats. All I do is hit enter. And then again, and it gives me a bunch of symbols and numbers. And a lot of these I don't actually care about. So here's a little key. This X with a bar over it, okay, X bar, that's a, a fancy mathematical way of saying the mean, and it tells it to you right here, 22.58. Our median, we just scroll down until we find where it says median, M-E-D, and that says, that, well, my median is 21. Now to get my range, I actually have to do a little bit of calculating. I need to find my max x and my min x. My max x, it says is 42. My min x is 10. I subtract those and I get 32 as my range. And the number of my data, that would be n. And it says n equals 12. That's how many data points I have, is just 12. Notice we skipped one. We did not do the mode. And if you'll turn to the next page, uh, it says that your calculator will not find the mode. And so we've got to go back to how we did it on the first page. But now we know our data is already in order. Okay? Our information is already in order. And so I'm going to go ahead and clear this just so I've got a nice fresh screen. I go back to stat, go into edit, I'm going to look at my list. Well, I've got two 10s, uh, I've got two 18s, got two 24s, so two 10s, two 18s, and two 24s. So that would be 10, and 18, and 24. Uh, I have numbers that have one of each, and so I don't have no mode. What I have are three separate modes. And so finding central tendencies uh, should be uh, now super simple with the use of the calculator. Um, don't forget on example number two, how to calculate your averages uh, if you're missing a test, what you need to make to get that final average. So good luck on your assignment, and have a good day.